Hi, Eddie. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for your time. You. First of all, congratulations on the movie. I thought it was quite shocking to see how relevant the story still is to this day, considering everything that's been going on. So how much did you know about the Chicago 7 before and how much research did you put into it? Um, the honest and embarrassing truth is I knew uh, very little. It was a moment in history that I, I knew nothing about. Um, uh, I think one of the things that as a population of the world we're realizing this year is that, that knowledge of history, not just one's own country, but uh, international history and the, and the roots of it and how it's all interconnected is, is incredibly important. Um, so I knew very little about it, but, but fortunately I had quite a long time because I was attached to the film for a couple of years and we kept getting close to making it and then not. So I had a lot of time to research. I watched the extraordinary um, uh, Kim Burns documentary on the Vietnam War. Um, I read a lot of around Tom and Tom's life uh, and just about the, the trial itself. And, you know, Aaron captures so brilliantly the kind of the, 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 um, the, you know, integrity of these characters and protagonists, but also the humor and the, the, um, uh, the sort of importance of what they were arguing for, um, that actually the script was one of the greatest insights into it in some ways. So as an actor, you kind of do all that research hopefully to then throw it away and just when you have writing as good as Aaron's to really just focus on those words and ho hope that kind of some of the research bleeds through a bit. So your filmography is actually very versatile. You've done a lot of different things, uh, right. but you're also known for movies based on true characters like The Tear of Everything and The Danish Girl. So what compels you to tell those stories? Why do you think it's important to share them? Um, well, the first thing is a lot of it's chance. You know, I don't go looking for these characters specifically who, who've lived, um, but those have been the, 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 the scripts that have come to me. But, but I am someone that likes confines, like I, creatively. I like, uh, whenever I was at school or at university, I hated being told you know, write the essay on whatever you want. I'm like, no, 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 give me confines. And, 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 and I love being able to go and delve into source material and, and to learn because, you know, 98% of what you learn while you're preparing for a character is not useful. You, you never see it on the screen, but it's interesting for you as a human being, you know, uh, and the progress of your own education. Um, but again, and also, I'd be the first to admit that you're, none of the people I've played on film, that in no way is it, um, is it uh, a, um, a documentary. These are, Aaron describes it beautifully as these are paintings, not photographs. But um, you do your best to imbue these characters with an essence of who you think they are. One of the things that was very interesting in the movie was the relationship between Tom Hayden and Abby Hoffman because mm. they didn't always agree on everything. So how did you go about creating that bond with Sasha Baron Cohen? Um, well, it was interesting because Sasha and I worked together before we worked together on uh, Les Mis. Um, and, you know, we have totally different processes. He comes from a wonderful kind of improvisational an extraordinary comedic background. I, he was just such beautiful casting for this film because I, I, I always sort of think of, you know, in, in Shakespeare plays, um, quite often you have the, the, you know, the fool who is the, the court jester who um, is basically appears to be the, the comedic character, but is actually the most knowing and is letting various protagonists kind of fall on their sword. And a lot of the work that Sasha's done um, with his films and his series has been about that. So I just thought it was so sort of wonderful. And, um, but, but interesting, Tom described the mutual respect between Abby and Tom. They were, had two entirely different uh, approaches, uh, sorry, approaches but even though perhaps Tom thought that Abby was ultimately detrimental to the, the movement, they were fighting on the same side, one through policy and, and kind of one through process. And I think they sort of, that's what Tom's, uh, that's what Aaron's done in the movie is highlight those um, two different ways of 
approaching the same thing. He described them, actually, he found the, emo the emotional key for, for Sasha and I was that Aaron described them as two brothers who are, are aiming for the same thing, but have completely different ways of going about it. And that brother thing um, kind of underscored the emotional sense of the, uh, or, or through line of the film for me. Eddie, I have thank you so much for your time. Um, all the best with the movie. Good luck with all your other future projects. Bye. Thank you so much. Lovely to see you. Bye.